Good afternoon and welcome to the American Heart Association's 2020 Montgomery County Heart Walk. I'm Ted Oberg, a reporter for ABC 13 and the MC for today's Heart Walk. My goal is to get you out and walking wherever you are. Thank you for your continued support of the American Heart Association, even in these times. We thank you for being with us today, even if we can't all be together. We're grateful you've stayed with us and continue to further the mission of the American Heart Association. Today is indeed a celebration. So why are we all here? You know, COVID-19 has changed the way we all live our lives and the American Heart Association is no different. AHA has donated two and a half million dollars in rapid response grants to study how this virus impacts heart and stroke patients. Additionally, the association has given $400,000 in research grants to teams at four institutions to study COVID-19, now funding 20 total research grants. We have seen that the social determinants of health are affecting the socioeconomics of the death rates in our country, and the American Heart Association is constantly working with all levels of government for equity and health care and works locally with coalition nonprofits to address issues such as food access, hypertension control, and cholesterol monitor. At the American Heart Association, the mission is simple, to be a relentless force for longer, healthier lives. And at the Heart Walk, we bring that mission to life by getting out here and getting active and pledging to stay healthy for good. And that's as important today as it is ever, even if we can't be together. Okay, don't forget to follow all the fun on our Facebook page, American Heart TX. And we wanna see you having fun too. So don't forget to share your videos or your photos by tagging at American Heart TX. Use the hashtag you see on screen right now. Make sure your pictures are public so we can give you a shout out for being a heart hero. We wanna thank our premier sponsor, BP, and our signature sponsors, Wood Forest National Bank and Keywood Energy. We also wanna give a heartfelt shout out to the amazing sponsors recognized on screen right now for supporting the Heart Walk and the American Heart Association's community work. This would not be possible without you. Thank you as well to our Core Vitae Society members, our executive leadership team and executives with heart participants for their continued support of the American Heart Association and Heart Walk campaign. We also wanna take the time to recognize our winners of the STEP Challenge. These participants logged their steps for the four weeks leading up up to the Heart Walk to compete for bragging rights. So congratulations to those individuals whose names you see on the screen right now. As you will hear throughout today's program, now more than ever, critical funds are needed to support the mission of the American Heart Association. On the screen now and throughout our event, you'll see on screen a text prompt with instructions to give. Simply text MOCO Heart Walk to 41444 you'll immediately receive a text response with a link to where you can quickly and easily complete your gift. Thousands of companies, maybe even yours, will match gifts made to the American Heart Association to find out if your company is one of them. Head to matchinggifts.com AHA. Okay, now let's keep things moving with a message from our Heart Walk Chair, Stu Bright. Thanks so much for having me. I am a strong supporter of the American Heart Association and I've been involved since 2008. This organization is important to me because I have several immediate family members that have had heart disease. I previously served as the Heart Walk Chair for the Montgomery County Heart Walk, where I led Tetra Technologies in the support of the American Heart Association over 10 years. I have been honored to serve on the American Heart Association Montgomery County Board of Directors including serving as the chairman for several years, and I continue to work to make our communities healthier. I am thrilled to have led the 2020 Montgomery County Heart Walk campaign through the finish line this year. We have made a huge impact. While we understand this is a difficult time for everyone, the need to support the American Heart Association is more important now than ever. 40% of those that are hospitalized with COVID-19 have heart disease or are stroke survivors. When the coronavirus first hit, hospitals across the, across the country saw a 40% decrease in emergency department visits. In response to this need, the American Heart Association created a public awareness campaign called Don't Die of Doubt that urges people to seek emergency medical care at the hospital if experiencing symptoms of a heart attack or stroke. 
During today's Heart Walk, we are reminded that physical activity is a critical part of a healthy lifestyle, not only to prevent heart disease and stroke, but also to improve well-being, especially, especially during these crazy times. Sticking to our fitness goals can lead to better sleep, lower stress and anxiety, and improved cognition. Movement is good for your heart and your mind, and regular exercise reduces the harmful effects of stress. I encourage you to find ways to keep moving and have your family join you. I know I encourage all my friends and family, especially today during the hard walk, to get out and exercise when they can. It's also important to know your numbers. You can't manage what you don't measure, which is why knowing your risk is critical to preventing cardiovascular disease. I urge you all to learn more about your blood pressure, cholesterol, blood sugar, and BMI. Your heart depends on it. Enjoy your movement today, and thanks again for being here. I plan to go out and walk with my family today. Let's walk where we are. Let's get moving. All right, back to you, Ted. Now we want to share an incredible story about why the research, education, and advocacy of the HeartWalk campaign is so vitally important. We hope you'll feel inspired to give as you watch Kendall's story. My name is Kendall Kristoff, and I am 39 years old. I am the fourth generation of women in my family to have a heart event before 50 years old. My great-grandmother had a stroke in her 50s. My grandmother passed away in 1996 of a heart attack. My mother had a heart attack and a stroke in her early 40s. And then I'm a heart attack survivor as of 32 years old. I woke up in the middle of the night and, you know, I wasn't feeling so good. And everything that I was feeling looked like the stomach flu. It didn't look like a heart event. I was very nauseous and I was sweating through my clothes. And I'm laying on the floor in my bathroom and I'm like, oh, this flu is terrible. I went into bed and I started noticing things that were not flu-like. I started noticing jaw pain, my teeth were actually hurting, um, shoulder tension, I, I was rolling shoulders, and um, the final sign was something I remember my mother saying, and she said, feel my fingertips, they're numb. And when I felt that, I knew. I nudged my husband and I said, I think I'm having a heart attack, and my husband said, I think you're having anxiety. And I was like, no really, like one of us has to get me to the hospital, so I was, you know, being told from different directions what we were going to do, and they were gowning me up and getting ready. And the one nurse was like, honey, just watch the screen, you're gonna see something amazing. I remember hearing ballooning the stent, and the screen I had been watching was black up until that moment, and all of a sudden, there was activity, and it was my heart coming back to life. I had 100% blockage in my right coronary artery. American Heart Association is one of the first phone calls I made after I got out of the hospital. So I read the literature and I followed along with the programs that you guys had. I went to the luncheons and whatever I could, did the heart walk. In December of 2019, it has been seven years. So I have been surviving for seven years and I would love to say that it's been easy. Some days you feel great and you're like, yay, I can climb mountains and I've, you know, done mud runs and things like that. But then there's days where I have to wear a holster monitor because my heart is like, let's run while you're sitting. So um, it is literally day by day. And I can tell anybody, it is so much easier to prevent a heart attack than it is to survive one. Kendall is just one reason why the mission of the American Heart Association is more vital now than ever. Don't forget to post your sweaty selfies to any social media platform using the hashtag you see on screen right now. Now here are some people who know an awful lot about competition and teamwork. Let's take a minute to listen to members of our board and our executive leadership team about why they walk. Hi, I'm Kristen Alfin with Wood Forest National Bank. I am honored to serve on the Montgomery County American Heart Association Board of Directors. I walk because I'm passionate about heart health. Hi, this is Carrie Guerrero. I'm Vice President and Chief Nursing Officer at Houston Methodist, the Woodlands Hospital. 
I'm honored to serve on the Montgomery County American Heart Association Board of Directors. I walk at the American Heart Association's Heart Walk each year because it's a great way to keep our staff and nurses heart healthy. I'm passionate about staying healthy and active, especially this year in a year of our global pandemic. I hope you will join us in this year's American Heart Association's Heart Walk. My name is Jessica Munsell and I am the Director of Community Development at Five Point Credit Union. Five Point is proud to be the CPR sponsor for this year's Montgomery County Heart Walk and I am honored to serve on the executive leadership team for this event. I know everybody has their own reasons for walking and for me my reason is simple. I walk for my daughter Ruby. Ruby was born last summer with multiple congenital heart defects. She is the one in 100, and it is because of the programs and advocacy done by the American Heart Association that Ruby's defects were first detected, and we know we'll continue to benefit from their ongoing research and support. We are forever grateful for the impact that the American Heart Association has had on our family, in our community, and across our country. We look forward to supporting the Heart Walk, and we hope that you will join us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jason Glover, VP of Operations for Memorial Hermann the Woodlands Medical Center. I am honored to serve on Montgomery County's American Heart Association Board of Directors. I look forward to and love the Heart Walk each year. I choose to walk to support heart health in individuals and communities. Hi, I am Sylvana Mawasi and I am a cardiologist at Texas Children's Hospital and Baylor College of Medicine. I am absolutely honored to be part of the Montgomery County American Heart Association Board of Directors. I am walking because I'm absolutely passionate about heart health. Please let's fight the number one cause of death in this country and please support the American Heart Association. Hello, my name is Catrice White. I am the Assistant Vice President of Texas Children's Hospital of the Woodlands. I am also honored to serve on Montgomery County Heart Association Board of Directors. I walk because I am passionate about heart health and I have lost a loved one to heart disease. Hello, I'm Randy Johnson with the Montgomery County Hospital District and I'm honored to serve on the Montgomery County American Heart Association Board. And I walk because after quadruple bypass surgery last year, I'm very interested in staying healthy. Of all the moments you share with your best friend, the greatest could be the moment you save her life. Every second counts in cardiac arrest. Learn hands-only CPR and be the difference for someone you love. One hundred thirty, just another number, right? Think again. It can mean all sorts of bad things. Swimming is great, but swimming with 130 sharks is a bad idea. 130 is too much of a lot of things, and it's too high for blood pressure. A blood pressure reading of 130 over 80 or higher means you're more likely to have a stroke or heart attack. Visit heart.org slash HBP to find out more about controlling your blood pressure. Thanks to all of you for telling us your why today. And a special thanks to Wood Forest National Bank for that important message about blood pressure. Now we'd like to take a minute to recognize this year's top walkers and top companies. And you guys are amazing. We couldn't have done it without you. Remember, it's not too late to make your gift. Simply text MOCO HEARTWALK to 41444. This is your chance to make an impact. Let's keep the fun going and hear a quick message from another one of our sponsors. As a reminder, you can make a gift of any amount 
Simply text MOCO HEARTWALK to 41444. And don't forget, keep sending us those incredible photos and videos from today's walk. Use the hashtag on any social media platform and tag us at AmericanHeartTX. It's almost time to start walking. So now let's do a little warm up from Care and Fit. Welcome to the American Heart Association Virtual Heart Walk. My name is Keridan. I've been a personal trainer and in the fitness industry for 19 years, but more importantly, I have been a heart mom for four years. My eight-year-old daughter had open heart surgery at the age of four, unexpectedly, and so this is an organization that's very near and dear to my own heart mom, Heart, and I am honored to get to help you guys warm up for the virtual walk. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and start with arm swings to the front and just alternate which arm is going on top here, okay? Remember when we're out walking or running, your arms are moving too, so we want to make sure that you have also warmed up through your shoulders and not just through your legs. So now bring those up a little bit higher to the front and to the side. Good job, you guys. Now we're gonna add on to this, and I want you to raise knees up with it. So just alternate your knees. With each lift, if your arms start getting tired, you can come right here. In fact, you know what, let's all do that. I kinda like it. Get a little back squeeze as you bring each knee up. Good job. Now let's change it, so I want you to go alternating front kicks, and I turned to the side so you could see a little bit. A modification would be knees, totally fine to do that as well. So alternate your knees or alternate front kicks. Get everything warmed up and ready to get on the road, right? All right, let's do some swings. So we're going right through this hip hinge here. Swing the leg front and back. And let's switch sides. So going front and back here. Okay, and let's do a little bob and weave action. Okay, so it's like you're ducking underneath something each time. And you can keep it light up top if you'd like, or take it a little deeper. And then you're almost there. I hope you're excited to get out on the road in just a minute. Okay, let's add a little shoulder roll with it. Each side. Good, good. Starting to get your heart rate up at this point. Okay, let's jog in place. Because you know what's coming next is actual jogging, running, or walking. So whatever pace you're gonna do on your own, right there in your own hometown, I just wanna say thank you for joining American Heart Association and joining me on this heart walk. Have fun! I don't know about you, I'm warmed up, ready to get my steps in today. Hope you are as well. It is a gorgeous fall day. I can walk in my neighborhood right along with you. So it's time to hashtag walk where you are and get your steps in. Thanks for all you're doing. We'll see you soon.